Okay, so this game, uh, let me explain. This is a lovely, lovely uh, horror game where you play as a like call center person who takes phone calls about people's homes. Uh, it can go from like cockroaches to like goblins or monsters. It's a very good game. But yeah, this game was great. It just got a, a DLC. Ooh, there we go. And I'm hyped. Check it out. Again, big thanks to the devs who gave me a key for this DLC. Super excited. Yeah, it goes from like, I've got uh, rats in my attic to there's a demon who can see my dreams. All right. I think we're ready to start. So yeah, we have, I've already completed the, like, the main game on stream. You can catch the, uh, the video for that on my YouTube channel. Let's start. Oh, the different opening thing. That's so nice. Rebecca. Oh, we have a new name. Logging in Rebecca. <gasps> Hell yeah. Cool. Welcome back, Rebecca. All of us here at Homestead Hotline are here, are ever grateful for your annual service during one of our busiest and most vital work weeks. But we only get to experience your talents for one week every year. We just want you to know you are highly valued here and an important member of the Homestead Hotline family. Best of luck this year, Rebecca. We're all counting on you. Best HSH corporate. Rebecca, dog, I heard you were back in the office today. You aren't going for to forget about coming to say hi to your best pal Rodney from IT, are you? I know you wouldn't dare forget. Remember, I got serious dirt on you, dog. Some of us actually remember last year's Christmas party, XD. Anyway, glad to have you back. See you around, Rodney. Uh, Daily Twilight Report 12-2296. Phenomena first sighted in Nanavut at approximately 0400 hours. Excuse me. Current risk, low to moder moderate. This is new. This is new. Okay, I guess we can clock in. First day, three days till Christmas. Cheer level 100%? What does that mean? <laughs> Welcome, employee. Doing your shift, please clock in below. Alrighty. So, we have the usual stuff. Animations are still here. This is who I think it is. <gasps> it is I. It's Carol. Carol. Turn is appreciated as always. I, of course, have no need to tell you how things work here, but hey, I party. will remind you that we are hosting our annual office Christmas party again the day after Christmas. It would please me to see you there. We're all counting on you, Rebecca. Oh, Carol. Oh, Carol. Antler growths. Antler growths are a family of fungi known for growing in tall antler like arrangements, most often seen growing on decomposing humans or mammals. And their growths are not needed on their own, but the movements they induce in their chosen host can often result in... It begins. Hello? Can you send over an electrician? Our lights keep flickering off, and we're trying to get our Christmas tree ready for when our folks arrive. Lights flickering. Please hold. Please hold. To prevent antler growth, from uh, occurring during decomposition, it's advised to burn the remains of the deceased or to bury the deceased at least six feet beneath the soil to ensure maximum safety from hazards. Attic gnomes, classic. Avalanches, okay. Bats, they're stones. Bed hag, classic. Bed teeth, classic. Black mold, boggarts, clock, clock, cloach, clock are a large circular stone formations known to appear on homes during the winter. Homeowners with clock often report clear skies, a feeling of instability and sinking. Clock are highly hazardous in two homes, and their inhabitants as a ground in the center of the formation will gradually sink lower until a deep pit is formed, changing a home's foundation in the process and preventing homeowners from leaving. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Hang on. I need to read the bottom part. <clears throat> Homeowners wishing to prevent damage to their homes are advised to seek the aid of the ones conducting the clock, bringing either an offer of gold or their firstborn child. That's crazy. Dwarves! 
Dwarf infestations often report increased heat in their home, clattering and banging sounds, and finding holes or rubble in basements or cellars. Mostly harm harmless, but can burrow. Oh, you can use parasitic plants like mistletoe or rattles in order to avoid dwarves. Elves! What? Huh? What? Elves are humanoid creatures with pointy ears often inhabit large-scale human social gatherings. Under the guise of being forgotten friends, family, or acquaintances, homeowners who often who have made contact with elves often report headaches, nausea, or lightheadedness. Elves are known to lower the immune response of humans they become uh, in contact with. To prevent or minimize contact with elves, it's advised homeowners to not interact with anyone they don't recognize at social functions. Wow. Bay feast, flay flu, false artifact, false carolers. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> That's so good. False carolers are our flocks of feathered humanoid creatures draped in many layers of clothing that are known for their pleasant singing vocalizations and for approaching the entrances of homes after dark. It's advised to stay inside if you see one. Wow. Another bogger! The Twilight. Ooh. The Twilight is an annual reoccurring phenomenon known for its diet of fear and suffering. Should it find sufficient uh, satiation in these car cravings during the time spent in our cosmic proximity, it will proceed to consume all things that dwell above and below the soil. Wow. Twilight is a severe existential threat to all living things so long as it finds sufficient feeding material, its hunger should avoid being sated at all costs. Wait, oh, hang on, the rest is so good. The twilight should be kept from its desires at all costs until it moves past. To prevent its feeling, or feeding, all manner of fear, agony, and suffering should be avoided or mitigated when all, when at all possible on the calendar days of its proximity between September 21st and 25th. It's also advised to spread as much cheer, celebration, and merriment during this time as is feasible. That's great. We have new wisps too, time wisps, sugar wisps, snow golems, ooh. Yeah, that must be what our, our cheer levels for is for the uh the twilight. Oh hang on. But look, this says that the golems can form or can make wet floors, outages, and result in faulty heaters. So that's interesting. Sick condition. Red nose. Oh, doggy. Oh, no. Red nose is a seasonal illness characterized by the primary symptom of a red berry like growth emerging from a mammalian proboscis. Most commonly occurs in wild animals but can be transferred to humans via its spores. It's harmless. Okay. Pine sprites. Oh, wait a minute. Yo, thank you for the two months. Uh, Zelen, I appreciate that. Two two. Thank you. Uh, pine sprites are small green subspecies of sprites known for having pine trees. Hang on. Uh, they have been known to cause fires or electrical shortages when... <gasps> it has to be. It has to be it. Hang on. He's trying to light his uh, Christmas tree. You got pine sprites, buddy. Mountain Warlock. Now we can help him. I gotta read up. I gotta brush up on my stuff. Yeah, if you get it wrong, uh, you can get fired. First of all, you can get fired from the game if you suck at your job. Also... Sorry, I gotta take this call. I couldn't hear the sound. Hmm. 
But yeah, if you get a call wrong, it's either going to be haha funny phone call or very, very sad. There's no in between. It's like, you fucked up, or like, my son is dead forever because of you. Like, if you go back and listen to, like, the bad phone calls from the main game, some of them are really, really sad. Is it- does she just have rats? It sounds like rats. Yeah, the kid in the TV, that one is so sad. Yeah, I think they just have rats. Well, they said it's huge, though. It's huge. I saw it scurry in the cupboard. Eek! It's back for more! Yeah, I think it's just mice. Yeah, the kid one is the false artifact. Hello? Home safety hotline. I think some kids are building some forts on our property. I'm uh -oh. looking at a bunch of big tall mounds outside our house, just coming from about every angle. I need someone to come and take these down for me. I do it myself, but I'm currently recovering from a back injury after slipping on something wet in my living room this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Please hold. Sounds like you might have... What were they? Snow golems? Yeah. Snow go uh, golems are large humanoid mounds of snow that are capable of moving on their own. Homos experiencing golems uh, come apart wet floors, power outages, and faulty or broken heaters, and strange formations outside the home. Easy. Oh, wait, yeah. That's... They're tempted to target home heaters during uh, hazardous weather can cause medical issues such as uh, frostbite or hypothermia. So, uh, I think you got golems of the snow variety. That's fun. Uh, wait, the solution is... Oh, sorry. Uh, when caught early, snow golems can simply be removed from a home by turning up the heat in a home to speed up their melting process and blocking away access to home heaters and fireplaces. Not too bad, just make your house hotter. Hello? The wild man is real. <laughs> I've seen him. I've seen him. I know you people know about things like this. I know what you really do. I have photos. We can get these out in front of the public. The people need to know. Please, help me get this out to the world before it's too late. I know he's been tracking me. What? The wild man is real. I've seen him. I've seen him. I know people know about things like this. I know what you really do. I have photos. You can get on them. Uh, help me. I know he's been tracking me. Please hold. The wild man? Sounds like mice. <laughs> Yeah, Black Mold, sir. It might be this one. Forgotten Boggarts are a wild roaming subspecies. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, are a wild roaming subspecies of Boggart that are untethered from memory. They are known to dwell in un uninhabited outdoor locations such as forests or mountains until they find a new home with those that are capable of witnessing and discussing them. Homeowners that have attracted a forgotten Boggart often report strange sightings and obsession with discovery. I think this might be a forgotten bogger. Here have one more. One. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it is advised homeowners do not dwell on the possibility of a nearby bogger. Any forgotten bogger sightings or any thought of forgotten boggarts to prevent them from happening one's home. Never speak of a forgotten bogger. Yeah, it sounds about right. He's pretty obsessed, so that's gotta be it. Honestly, doing pretty good for our first day. Rather than my uh, my first day in the in the regular game, I was really bad at it. I kept um reporting these as black mold. I'm like, you're all just crazy. It's all black mold. You're crazy. Bed teeth? Yeah, it's so gross. Look. They're like these little teeth that give you like rashes and stuff. So nasty. Oh, this is a vague one. Please help, I can't move too weak. I need more, I need more. 
please hold. Sounds like Black Mold Sun. Hmm. Hold, please. We need more words from you. He's more Black Mold in their wall the walls. It's good for you. It builds character. Can't move. I'm too weak. Need more. Sugar Wisp are... An invisible subspecies of wisp known for its sweet plum-like aroma and its ability to influence the dreams and appetites of humans. Most affected by sugar wisp are often report an intense craving for sweets. Not that. I don't think so. Well, mm. uh, Sugar wisp are hazards to humans' health thanks to their influence on the victim's preferred diet. Uh, sustained exposure to wisps can often lead to mild severe milk problems ranging from tooth decay to diabetes and starvation. So it's not that. The weak thing is what's really getting me. I'm trying to think of what we have that make him feel weak. And need more. He needs more of something. This is a hard one. He really threw a curveball in here between the uh, early easy ones. He needs more mice. He needs more mice bites. <laughs> um... Yeah, the game heard I was like, I'm doing pretty good. Like, okay, let's change that. She's too getting too confident. Quick. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I'm also leaning towards sugar wisps. Carbon monoxide? Okay. I think we're gonna send sugar wisp, honestly. I guess, yeah. It does say it could cause starvation. So, maybe the weakness is coming from starvation, and then it says craving for sweets. That must be it. Gotta be. They take out some of the options they did. Yeah, there's some that aren't here anymore. Like, uh... Cockroaches are gone, and spiders are gone, thank god. Yes, home safety hotline! How can I help you? Yeah. So, uh, there's strange noises coming from our basement. I don't know what's down there, but I can hear it scurrying around and making little scratching noises at night. I don't dare go down myself, but my wife said she found little round pellets or something down there. <laughs> that sounds like mice. <laughs> we can't keep saying it's all mice. I don't know what's down there, but I can hear scurrying around making little scratching noises at night. Don't go dare. Don't. Dare go down there myself, but why said she found a little round pellets? Everything's oh. in there. It's tiny avalanches. Oops, all mice. We can't do this. It was oops, all black mold last time. The cat hunts mice. I I need the mice. He let his wife. I mean, I guess she's just braver than him. I don't know what's down there, but I can hear it scurrying around and making little scratching noises at night. I'm gonna go now. Please hold. Bye, Asmo. Please hold. It's an avalanche inside their basement at night. Bat moment? Uh, maybe. Oh, wait, yeah. I guess it uh, could be bats. One of the dwarves? Um, I already read it earlier. It's a geodude. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Oh, did I mess up? Wait. No, I didn't get. Oh, I messed up one of them. Our cheer meter went down. Cause I messed up one. It must have been a mouse. Well, darn it. We'll find out which one was wrong earlier, or late. Or they're probably gonna call us and yell at us today. Who died? I don't think anyone's gonna die because of me. That was a pretty tame first level. Check this out, dude. Do you see this? Uh, everyone keeps forwarding it to me. I can't tell if they are taking it seriously or not. Either way, it's hilarious. The thing you get out of it, Rodney. On this day, December 23rd, 25-year-old Alice Prairie fell into a lake and drowned while ice skating. If you don't forward this to eight or five other people by tonight, you will drown in the next lake you visit. Ah, so scary. Okay, so we're getting a little bit, the twilight's getting a little bit more moderate. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh no, delete the email. We're gonna drown. We're gonna drown. Can they add more achievements to this DLC, by the way? I want to find out. For me. No. Uh oh. Okay, whatever. Carol! Carol! I'm waiting for my email! Or my phone call! Carol! 
Carol? Greetings, Rebecca. Hi. It is Carol again. Hi. There have been reports of some new activity, so we have gone ahead and made some new information available to thee. Thank you. things are going well thus far. Thou knowest as well as I what is at stake. I do hope to see thee soon, Rebecca. Thank you, Carol. Keep being cryptid. <gasps> new entries! Frost Wisps. Oh, I like this. Uh, frost wisps are a subspecies of wisp that commonly take on the. <sighs> Hello, Home City Hotline. I need someone to come fix our windows. I fear there's a terrible draft coming in, and I wouldn't want anyone at my second family gathering to catch a cold. I'm hosting at least 20 additional family members, and I need this place locked tight for their sakes. Mm. I've already caught something dreadful during our last hosted function and I don't intend for it to happen again. Please hold. Old. She's called an avalanche! <laughs> Hans is a new one too. Whoa, I like this one. Hans is a human-shaped husk of cloth, rags, and straw known for sneaking into the homes and domains of an affluent, wealthy, and fortunate. Homes occupied by Hans commonly suffer symptoms such as the appearance of strange markings and faint sounds of rustling and occupants suddenly becoming, sorry, behaving abnormally. Uh, while Hans not directly harm those he crosses paths with, Hans can deadly impact the lives of homeowners should he complete the process of occupation. Occupied humans, human adults, may commit acts they do not condone, including more hazardous behavior such as murder, debauchery, and arson. Lucy. Oh, ooh, I like this one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Lucy's a semi solid humanoid creature, vaguely resembling a pale human woman, known for slipping inside homes during hailstorms. Homeowners often report a slimy, semi transparent substance near openings like doors, windows, air ducts, and chimneys. Lucy can be quite hazardous to any human or pets that cross their path. As Lucy is known to steal the warmth of warm blooded mammals, leaving behind crumbled frozen remains. The mare. Oh. Peter, the horse is here. The mare is a skeletal, -like, or skeletal horse like humanoid drain draped in a variety of tinsels and fabrics. It is known for its distinct song like screeching and its tendency to approach the entrances of homes that are dark. The mare poses no danger to humans or animals, but has been known to consume large amounts of the homeless food and beverages while, if invited inside, the mare cannot be disrupted while feasting. So you have to just let it eat your food then leave. Ogress. Oh. Ogresses are 8 to 10 foot cave dwelling creatures, typically only active at high elevations during the winter. Homeowners typically do not experience an ogress directly, but rather report other consequences of its presence, such as Yulemen or Yule cats. Wait, what? Yule cats! What? They got giant cats! That's me! I'm in the game! That's me. There I am! So the Yule cats eat fabric? They just go into houses and eat fabrics. <gasps> Wait a minute. Hang on. Yule cats' diet of fabrics can prove quite hazardous to clothed homeowners if caught in their path, and due to their size and speed, most human adults and kids do not survive these encounters. Oh. They can just- they're just killing people. What the f- <laughs> Yule goats are goat-shaped apparitions that can often occur in a home during the winter. Homeowners experiencing Yule goats often report strange coincidences, citing shades of goats throughout their house and imagining sounds of bleeding. Bleating. Like me. Uh, Yule goats, uh, prolonged presence can often cause paranoia or sleep deprivation in affected homeowners. You have to make a humble offering of wheat and straw to appease the Yule goat. And of course we have Yule men.
Give me your wheat. Okay, so anyway, let's focus. Uh, we've got a draft from their windows. What's wood secretion? Uh, this one is pretty fun. Uh, so basically, this is like, I mean, it's your wood like secretes a like a substance, and like apparently it attracts animals and kids to eat it. I forget what it does if you do eat it though. Oh wait, yeah, it's deadly. Yeah, it's it's deadly. <laughs> okay, so she's got a draft in her house, and she's got a gathering soon for her family. Hosting 20 people. I need this place to be locked tight for their sake. I've already caught something dreadful during our last function. Is it elves? Because listen, uh, the elves inhabit large-scale human gatherings. And they are, they remove, or said they lower the immune response of humans they come into contact with. Often leading to illnesses, resulting in long-term hazardous or fatal consequences. They aren't here yet, but they were there last year at their past gathering. So it sounds like she might have caught something last year. So I think she found an elf at her last gathering and now is sick from it again. That's my theory, at least. Yeah. Yeah. We did a good job. I think we're the one good. This packet you sent doesn't make any sense, and there is still something in our basement. Oh no! I'm calling Papa Paul's best control from now on. Oh, so that was we did get that. It was not bats. It was not bats. Whoopsie. Hello, Home City Hotline. Ooh. What? I'm dead? I'm only 33. Please he thinks he's dead. So we gotta find a thing that makes you think you're dead. Oh god, the trolls are so scary. I hate these ones. <laughs> these ones are very violent. Like, I want to say it's Dorcha really bad, but I don't think it is. Because they mentioned, like, the immense dread they feel. But I don't think that's right. That's, like, I thought it was Time Wisp, pretty much. That's my only guess, because of the way it, it's worded. Mm, I think it's gonna be Time Wisp, I think. I think. Okay. That might be good. I think, I think we're doing alright. Hello? Home safety hotline. Hello? <laughs> Send someone out to put it out of its misery. It's been screaming like hell for the past hour, and I'm far too squeamish to go look at it or touch it myself. My son is only ten years old, and he's very worried about the poor thing, so please hurry. Uh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's some kind of dying animal in our yard. Can you send someone out to put it out of its misery? It's been screaming like hell for the past hour, and I'm far too squeamish to go look at it or touch it myself. My son is only ten years old. Sounds like the... the mayor. Right? Hang on. There's some kind of dying animal in our yard. Can you send someone out to put it on yep. its misery? That's the same one. You got a mare! Let it inside! Let it eat your food! It's hungry! It's hungry! It's hungry! It wants a little snack. Good job. Oh, sorry. That was really fast. Feathers. Feathers. Feathers, you say. Ahem, ahem. 
Falls Carol are a flocks of feathered humanoid creatures uh, directed by Miller's clothing that are known for their pleasant singing. But look at this, chat. False carolers report sounds of singing, missing neighbors or large feathers appearing around neighborhood doorsteps. So you think she says cat, right? But I think it's actually a false caroler. It seems like it's a bird. Speaking of birds, hi, Shiver. Because she's also missing. Oh, well, wait, hang on, though. Yule Cat's report has seen growling and paw prints on the snow, a missing clothes or neighbors, but the feathers! It's gotta be a false caroler. I think the cat comment is supposed to be, like, a red herring, almost. That's what I'm thinking. That's my game theory. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I think it's actually false carolers. Because the cat- the Yule Cat's, like, giant. So I don't think- I don't think it's that, or she would have, like, talked about the cat being big. So. Yeah, I think the cat's probably gone too. Hello. I think there's some kind of mold problem in our house. Mold, you say? This nasty kind of uh, thick <gasps> slime residue near the air vents, and I think it's scaring the pets. Our poor cat hasn't wanted to come back inside yet, so I need this fixed as soon as possible. Slime? Slime. Near the air oh. vents. Is it Lucy? I'm going to pour a slimy, semi-transparent substance near openings like doors, windows, air ducts, and chimneys. And it will steal the blood or warmth of warm-blooded animals, leaving behind their crumbled, frozen remains. I highly advised to quietly hide all warm-blooded inhabitants to a home if Lucy- or of a home if Lucy is expected to be present and wait until it passes through on its own. You've got a Lucy. Oh my god, I think there's an avalanche outside! Our home is right below the mountain! Please send someone over before it's too late! Please hold. Well, I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. I think it's a bit too bit too late. Avalanche mentioned. Yeah. I think it's too late. <laughs> Please hold. Imagine, yeah, you're like in an avalanche. Please hold. <laughs> Hello. The doctors told me to call here. I think I caught some kind of dog disease. My neighbor's freak dog sneezed on me or something, and now it's growing on me. I can feel it underneath my skin, this horrid little bump forming. It's hurting very badly. Please, can you tell me what to do? <gasps> Did you get red nose? Please hold. Yep, painful during the growth stage. Harmless humans and animals alike and proper scare. Easy. Easy peasy. Nothing, nothing bad. Hello? Someone is coming into my home. Your security cameras broke on me, so I can't see who it is. I can hear their shoes squeaking or something in the footage when they came in to steal my Santa outfit. What? Do you have some kind of policy compensating your customers for selling them faulty equipment? Someone's coming to my house. The cameras broke on me, so I can't see who it is. I can hear their shoes squeaking. Is it the... those new gnome dudes? No, what were, what were, there's like a new thing. What were those? Yulman? Um, a clown? There's clowns? Imagine. Dwarves? No. My camera's broke on me. I can't see who it is. I can hear their shoes squeaking. Wait a minute. This is a scary game. I mean, this game definitely has some horror. I mean, it's got horror elements in it, so... It, it can... I think it's a pretty scary game in the right... Uh, it's a nice level or, like, mix of, like, charming and funny and also scary. Yeah, like, a lot of it is very existential. That's, that's a good way to put it, I think. Mm, it's not that. 
It's not pine sprites. Reanimation? No. Is it an animation? Often report hearing clattering noises at night or missing and stolen household objects. No. Not the goat. Not the yulman. That is so difficult for me. Yeah, a bunch of little guys. Little goofballs. You got you got little goofy guys in your house. Sorry, I tell you this. There's no cure for that. Is it a kobold? No. I'm trying to like read the the hints in this like dialogue. The cameras broke. They can hear squeaking of shoes, and they're stealing his Santa outfit. Yule cats want fabric, but I don't think that's what they. Can't be it. Attic gnomes, maybe. I don't think it's a hob. All right, chat. I'll bite. What do you think it is? What do you guys think it is? I'm I'm honestly stumped on this one. Trolls? I don't think it's. Oh wait. No wait. You're right. You're right. During the winter, they'll fit their bodies to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or clothing. Uh, homeowners with trolls will report missing clothes or claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. That's bad, because trolls are very dangerous. Causing property damage. So that might also be it. Okay, I'm gonna bite and say it's trolls. Bogger? No, the bogger is pretty scary though. Um, oh, I got them all right! Yay! Our cheer level is still at ninety-one percent. I did good. Yippee! Yeah. Heads up. Don't know if you've heard already, but the pest control department has been panicking and sending out vans all morning. I think something big is going down. I may have a lot on your plate already, but I figured I'd give I'd give you a heads up. Happy Christmas Eve. Have you been good this year, winky face Rodney? Uh-oh. Namana sighted across North Dakota at approximately, oh, 200 hours. Oh, no. Cheer level should be closely monitored. Moderate to high. Uh-oh, the twilight's getting stronger. One day until Christmas. <laughs> it's fine. We're at 91% cheer. This is fine. Carol. Carol. Where's my daily phone call? Carol. Since my birthday. Oh, hang on. Carol. I got to take this phone call. Oh, wait. Listen no? Here. What? HSH Pest Control. Listen up. The Mouse King is loose, and it's our understanding he means to stir up trouble of the Yuletide variety. My boys are working around the clock to find him and stop him in his tracks before things get too hairy, but sometimes the things slip through the cracks. Little things, if you get my meaning. If you hear anything strange, let us know as soon as you can. The There's Mouse no King? Coming your way, read it carefully. Keep those eyes peeled. Where's Other Carol? Now. Wait, where's Carol? What? Bell, wait. Bell Snickel. <laughs> oh, I hate it. The gift hag. Oh, it's getting spooky mm -hmm. up in here. Someone to come check our house for damage. I think I felt an earthquake last night. And this morning, I noticed those godless Hendersons across <laughs> the street crying about something with the police. So I'm fairly sure whatever happened must have been enough to damage our property. <laughs> the godless Hendersons. Jeez. Jeez. We have new things. Let's read them. So first we have Belschnickel. The Bellsnickel is a human-shaped pine-based life form that's known to visit on the winter nights ad uh, adorned in animal furs and a wooden mask, bearing a friendly visage. Homeowners experiencing a Bellsnickel often report break-ins, finding berries, sap, and pine needles, or scratch marks on the floor, or dead pets. Wow, that went... Uh, that... Wow. Uh, they don't pose any harm to humans they encounter, but they're known to occasionally lash out at those they perceive as wrongdoers. Their presence can be highly hazardous to any furry mammals or pets in the house. The berries they leave are both safe to eat and delicious. Then we have uh, the gift hag. I hate it. Uh, 
Uh, the gift has a humanoid creature somewhat resembling an elderly human woman with a smiling face, covered in soot or uh, soil. It is known to quietly slip into homes during the winter and often leaves behind trinkets such as mark makeshift dolls, wooden idols, or sharp twigs and rocks. The gift hag is mostly harmless humans, though careless play with sharp rocks and twists can often result in human child injuring themselves. The Hunt the hunt is a storm-like fungal weather phenomenon that carries with it large quantities of infectious snow-like spores. Homeowners caught in the hunt uh, report thunder, blizzards, electrical outages, and violent or erratic behavior from neighbors. Whoa, hang on. Uh, the spores, if ingested, can also cause uh, color blindness, deformities, and cannibalistic desires. Advised to take shelter during the storm. Wow. The locomotive. You what, mate? <laughs> locomotive is a large train like organism that can often be seen by animals and human children. It's known only to appear after nightfall on the 21st of December. Uh, often report the floor rumbling at, rumbling at night, distant whistling, snow falling in strange patterns, or missing children. Wait a minute. Lugmo is harmless to human adults, but can prove harmful, even fatal to human children if they choose to enter its domain. Children bearing sufficient faith are known to return the following morning, however. It's the Polar Express, but f***ed up and evil. The Mouse King! Oh. The Mouse King is a prominent member of a traitorous clan of mice, known for recruiting and leading them in nefarious activities such as riots, heists, and assassinations? Homeowners Mouse King often report sounds of squeaking, scratching, and seeing strange mice behaviors such as mass coordination or attempts at communication. The Mouse King poses an incredible threat to all living things, and instruction should be immediately prioritized. Wow. Percha. Archa is an incredibly dangerous to humans inhabiting its domains. It will often utilize nearby humans as makeshift scarecrows to keep the pest at bay. Most humans do not usually survive this process. I don't like what that implies. The Saint. Santa Claus. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Saint is known for traveling through snowstorms at night, leaving strange artifacts on the doorsteps of homeowners. Often, the saint's arrival is followed by the sinner shortly afterwards. The saint is- uh, wait, hang on. So if you get a gift from one, you experience great fortune and luck for 30 years, but after that mark, it'll return and collect their due. It's not advised to accept their gifts. And then here's the sinner. Oh, it's Krampus! It's Krampus! A large bipedal goat-like creature known for breaking into homes and devouring human children. Uh, the sinner will not enter our home of those with a gift from the saint at the doorstep. As such, it is advised to not remove the gifts until the night of a snowstorm. Wowie. White. Oh, I hate it. Whites are misshapen former humans that have been exposed to the effects of the hunt, coming in a variety of unfortunate body bodily configurations. Okay, so this guy's talking about an earthquake he felt last night, which I think is a result of the... Uh, oh, what's that one thing? Uh, where was that? One of the new big guys. Black mold, obviously. You're just crazy. You're just crazy. An ogress. That just brings in Yule Cats and Yule Men. They're out in Warlock. There we go. They're known to lie dormant in their high elevation domains. Upon waking, their thunderous vocalizations can be heard from miles uh, around. Report echoes, rumbling, shaking, or avalanches. 
Mount Morlocks are highly territorial and pose a direct damage to any human animals that settle or wander into their domains. Their earth-shaking incantations can cause severe damage to a house foundation. But it could be... Hang on. Earthquake. He didn't say avalanche. He said earthquake. Maybe it is a locomotive because the neighbors were talking about... Oh yeah, godless Hendersons are crying about the to the police, which means their kid was taken by the Polar Express, but f***ed up and evil. That's why he said godless, that was the hint, because it says a child bearing uh, sufficient faith are known to return the following morning. So that kid did not make it. I have been robbed. Someone broke into my house and completely cleaned out the fridge and cabinets last night. There's wine all over my floors, discarded milk jugs. It's absolutely disgusting. I demand a refund for this useless home security package you people sold me. It's only good for hearing thieves cackle after the fact. Cackle? I'm broken to my house and clean out the fridge and cabs last night. There's wine all over my floors. Discarded milk jugs are disgusting. Demand a refund. Please hold. Please hold. Mm -hmm. That sounds like the mayor. But the laughing is what really got me. We already had the mayor earlier. Not this Belgian thing. Oh, wait. It might be the Yulman. Uh. Yeah. Uh, homeowners are messing with Yulman often report broken windows, stolen food, giggling, and missing pets or children. So I think it might be Yulman. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yeah, but I'm not wrong. <laughs> That's be called gaming. Hi. In the ceiling, in my coffee, in the wallpaper. Make it go away. Please hold. Sounds like an avalanche to me, buddy. <laughs> oh, wait, is it the goat? Hang on. Yule goats are a goat shaped apparition that can occur in the home. Uh, they report sighting shapes of goats throughout their house and imagine the sounds of bleeding. He said demon. Uh, prolonged presence can often cause paranoia or sleep deprivation. Is Ray good? No, he's not good. He's having a bad time. The goat will appear in your breakfast, in your cornflakes. Yeah, I think it's... I think this is the Yule Goat. Hello. That's fast. Please hold. Don't say it, chat. Black mold. <laughs> Everything's shaking. Please help. Mice! No, it's not mice! <laughs> is this what I was thinking about earlier? What the fucking. What was that? Oh! Is their foundation sinking? No. Mice can cause structural damage, yes. Is the mountain warlock maybe this time? It sounds like an avalanche, but. We are, but... Hmm. Yeah, it could be. Come on, this is a tough one. This one's tough. Because, like, it could be another avalanche. Then, it, again, it could be the mountain warlock causing the shaking. I'm gonna try mountain warlock. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I want to believe. 
No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, we would hear the warlock chanting. You're right. It was an avalanche. Fuck. It's okay. We're at 83% cheer. That's still... That's fine. Task failed successfully. Yippee. Dang it. It was an avalanche, I think. Or some secret third thing. Hello? Hudson here. Pay attention. I've got word from the boys that the Mouse King was last seen wearing a disguise. I repeat, the Mouse King has gone incognito. Be on the lookout for any conspicuous individuals of a rodent-adjacent variety. Hudson out. Okay, Hudson. Where's Carol? I miss Carol. I usually get my daily phone call from Carol. Uh, sad. I need my emotional support. Hello? Our huh? poor wooden floors are scratched to hell and back, and there's a bunch of sap and needles and stuff littered around the place. Oh. Please, could you send somebody over to find this thing and get it the hell out of my place? Hey, sit quietly. Sit down, hey. <gasps> You've got the, the, the thing. What was it? Belsnickel. She's got a Belsnickel. Pine needles, sap, dead pe Oh. Wait. Break-ins, berries, sap, pine needles, scratch marks, and dead pets. You gotta get out of here. You gotta go. A uh, solution, usually pass through a home and move on to others by the end of the night. So they just need to hide until it's gone. Damn, we're busy today. Hello? See, that's what happens if you fuck up. You get a phone call about uh, the aftermath. I didn't think it was an avalanche. I'm sorry, I really fucked up. It was a mice avalanche. The Mouse King got her. Smothered in mice. What's the clock? I'll show you. It's pretty cool. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, but a clock is, um, this little thing right here. Um... So, uh, it's like a little stone thing that forms that can cause, like, your house to begin sinking. It's making, like, a pit, pretty much. I think your husband got taken by, uh, what's her name? Hercha? Hercha. Yeah, see. Um... Hercha will use humans as makeshift scarecrows to keep other pests at bay. Chaos and filth. Break-ins, clattering, and shed skin on floors. Hmm. But that- it's weird, because like, they mentioned the scarecrow, but everything else doesn't match up with the Percha at all. Because she said she- her husband's not acting like herself. And I found it looked like symbols in the attic, along with the scarecrow in the center, but- this is the only thing that gives us scarecrows. Unless, unless, hang on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it the Hans? <gasps> yep. Homes occupied by a Hans commonly suffer symptoms uh, such as the appearance of strange markings, faint sounds of rustling, occupants suddenly behaving abnormally. It's a Hans. The scarecrow was a bit of a little, uh. Killing it. Now it's slow. Phone call, please. Anybody? Oh, there we go. Hello? Our house is falling apart. The floorboards are cracking. The doors aren't closing properly. And nothing is draining anymore. Something very strange is happening. And I suspect it has something to do with my neighbor's renovation project. I've been seeing people hauling around giant rocks all week. Who knows if they damaged something on my property? Giant rocks, you say? Please hold. Giant rocks? Mm. Doors aren't closing properly. 
Nothing is draining. I've been seeing the hauling giant rocks all week. The floorboards are creaking. Yeah, let's see. Their inhabitants as the ground in the center of formation will gradually sink lower until a deep pit is formed, damaging a home's foundation in the process and preventing homeowners from leaving. Tim Gorons. Where even is that again? The dwarves. Rock and stone, mayhaps? I don't think so. Also, wait a minute. Cracks in walls, ceilings, I mean floors, and drains not work. I mean, it could just be a regular sinking foundation, though. This is weird. Hmm. It might just be a regular foundation sink, but then again, it could just be the... Because clocks, like, they cause a foundation to start sinking. I'm gonna try it. Gotta help him. I'm right, or I'll be really sad. Oh, thank God. Okay, it was the clock. Gotcha. Cloach clock. Hello. It's been going good. This game's really fun. Gingerbread Master Award. They broke into our home and stole our post office. I found little postman Peter class in pieces on the floor in the yard next to a big hole with the burned remains of the post office inside. What? What? Please hold. What? Right next to a big hole. Gingerbread post office. Yeah. Um... I don't know. <laughs> this one's weird. Um, this is so weird. I don't understand this one very well. Is it a trash? No, no. This one is. I'm. I'm. This one is really confusing. It gave me a lot of information, and I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> um, I can eliminate what it's not. We know it's not like the sinner, or the saint. It's not the foundation, a red nose. It's not an animation. Or raccoon. Burned remains of our post office inside. A big hole with the burned remains of our post office. What do you mean? No. Go from the bottom up. I'm just like, it's not Yulman, probably. It's not the Yule goat. Not the cat. Winter fur. Wait. Wait. Wait, wait. Wait. I got it. I just gotta recall which one I need to find for this. Brain Blast. Yeah, I got it. I think. I just have to find... I gotta find the, the entry. <laughs> Shoot, which one was that? There was some new one. That I know exactly what's causing this issue. It is, in fact, the neighbors doing this. I just gotta find the right entry. Which one was it? I can't remember. One of these, like, can make people arsonists, I think it was. I can't recall which one did that, though. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. There's, I swear to God, there's, like, one of the new ones. Like, one of the, if it, like, infects people, they be, they can, like, steal and, like, burn stuff. No, that's blindness and cannibalism. What fucking one? <gasps> Here it is. Wait, this is also a Hans. We already hit that, had that earlier, though. Occupy human adults may commit acts they don't condone, including more hazardous behaviors like murder, debauchery, and arson. They stole our post office. And we found it burned in our yard. There's no way it'd be the Hans. Two Hans reports? That can't be it. I'm gonna get fired. 
that wasn't right. No, <laughs> no, that wasn't it. I overthought it. What could that have been? What was it, Chad? Do you guys, what, what do you think it was? I have no idea. Oh, no. The troll? No, the troll steals clothing. I'm not sure who else to call about this, but animation. Uh, Ooh, it might have been. Very weird is going on in our neighborhood. Some strange man in a, a large trench coat and Halloween mask is going around ringing neighbors' doors, carrying some kind of paper or, or notes. He hasn't come to my house yet, but I'm very afraid of what they might be up to. Pepper, Pepper. Stop scratching the door. He's going to think we're home. Uh, Grand is brutally warped his animation. The German Manzella came to life and- Oh my god, I almost clicked animation too. It was animation. That one was hard. Wow. Yeah, no, trolls, uh, they steal, like, warm clothing. And they're also, like, really dangerous. Okay, some strange man in a large trench coat and Halloween mess is going around ringing neighbors' doors, carrying some kind of paper or a note. He hasn't come to my house yet, but I'm afraid of what he might be up to. Please hold. The cat's angry. A trench coat and paper. Paper. Trench coat and Halloween mask. It almost sounds like the the saint, but the saint rides a horse and also only happens to be out during snowstorms these are getting really difficult these are getting hard <laughs> this is a hard game strange man in a large trench coat and a halloween mask is rummaging or is going door to door ringing doorbells obviously black mold obviously not lucy it's not the mare that one's really tempting to pick but it can't be such a weird... So many weird notes in this one. Okay. A strange man. Large trench coat. Halloween mask. Carrying a paper or a note. And the cat's upset. Hi, Sin. Oh my god, it's the Mouse King. Wait, I get it. I think it's the Mouse King. That's why the cat's so mad. And they said that the, the Mouse King is, like, impersonating people. So I think... I think it's the Mouse King. I think we found it. <laughs> oh, it was the Mouse King. I was right. What's the cheer meter? Uh, the cheer meter is something we have to keep very high or else we're, we're all going to die. Like, actually. Pretty much. You have to appease the twilight with cheer until Christmas. It clicked it for me when I reread the cat part. I was like, oh, the Mouse King. <laughs> Do not let him in. Hello? Is it our guy again? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, are these dangerous? Hang on. Are these dangerous? Oh, okay. Animations are not usually dangerous to humans and will ignore them entirely as they go about their business. Uh, but their presence of in a house may indicate the interest of other potentially uh, dangerous parties. Okay. They're not, they're not dangerous. They're not dangerous. For the most part. For the most part. Hello. I need you to send out someone to change out our locks. My mother-in-law has finally gone far enough and I've had it with her. I don't know how... But I think she's managed to get a copy of my key to come in and leave these creepy little dolls for my kids at night. It's a gift I tag. I saw that old bag myself on the security camera. It's it's a bit fuzzy, but I can make out those crony old arms of hers. Jeez, man. Tell me how you really feel. Please hold. It's a bed hat. Or not a, sorry, a gift tag. Because uh, the gift tag leaves like dolls for kids and stuff. Early human woman smiling face uh, leaves dolls for kids. Yep, easy one. Thank you for an easy one game. Thank God. I needed that. Here you go. <gasps> 80%. Ooh. Ooh. 80%. Ooh. That hurts. 
A long night. I would hope so. Uh oh. Oh no. Current risk profile. Oh no. <laughs> Increased levels of cheer spreading is highly advised. Very high risk profile for the uh, Twilight Report. Hey, what are you doing on Christmas, dog? XD. Unfortunately, we both know why. I'm sorry it's always falls on your plate, Becca. Especially with the extra madness going on at pest control this year. Today's gonna be a rough one. Hope to see you tomorrow, dude. We all have you to thank for this past year. Rodney. It's Christmas. It's Krimbus. We cannot fuck up today. Is it gonna be Carol? I miss Carol. Damn it. Hi, Hudson. Here. We almost had him, but that little royal pain has given us the slip. He was last seen hightailing it towards the head office with his swarm in tow. I repeat, you have a whole gaggle of mice coming your way. Ooh. My boys are coming in to break the walls down. We're gonna seize the king no matter what. Tell your buddies up at IT they're gonna have plenty of work ahead of them tomorrow. That's how it has oh. to be. Hudson out. Wait. Okay. We're being attacked by mice. Wait, new entries? Really? What do you mean? There's not. Don't lie to me. Nothing's new. Bring it on. I know. Carol! Greetings, Rebecca. I'm certain that you've seen the skies today. The light's gaze has fallen upon us. I'm calling to wish you and the rest of the caller response team the best of fortunes. I know I need not remind thee that this day is one of great import and is to be treated with the utmost gravity. Spread much merriment and cheer to all you can, and I hope to see you all on the morrow. Okie dokie. You got it. We must spread holiday cheer. Hello. Broke into our house, heard the filling around last night with God knows what, and came downstairs to find they disappeared. They even drank the milk we left out for Santa. The kids are none the wiser. Why did I get instantly hit with one that I, it's pretty general? That one's... Or this one could be anything. Well, last night with God knows what, and came downstairs to find that they disappeared. They even drank the milk left out for Santa. The kids were none the wiser. Hmm. I'm really worried about getting one wrong now. I don't want the I don't want the my cheer to go down. It sounds like Yulman again. Night no, maybe? No. Literally mm. <laughs> just Santa option, yeah. <laughs> it was just Santa Claus. It's not a hob, because hobs like clean as they go, so it can't be one of those. Alright, chat, what do you think? What's the verdict? I I'll bite for our first one. This one is too general, I feel like, for me. I wanna say it's Yulman. No, I don't think it's Saint, because the Saint doesn't go inside the house. Yeah, the saint... Hang on. Yeah, it leaves, like, artifacts and, like, stuff on the doorsteps. Uh, yeah, wine sprites just drink wine, I think. Hang on. Yeah, it's 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 wine. They make the wine taste nasty. Forgotten boggart? No. We had that one earlier. Forgotten boggarts are, like, outdoor dudes that are, like, really dangerous and make you, like, obsessive and paranoid. I don't know. I, th I I really think it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be Yulman again. I don't know. Some Christmas hating hooligans has broken into our house. I heard them fiddling around last night with the uh, God knows what and came downstairs to find they drank the milk and they disappeared. My kids were none the wiser. 
Yeah, common Hobbs thing. Uh, let me reread it. They have no fall space. They're known for their tendency to not consume to consume dust, dirt, and commi common sticky substances found on the floors and dishes. Clean them in the process. They only come out at night. But they clean. Old milk? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it is a common hob. Yes, it's gonna be wrong. Maybe. I'm gonna say common hob. I'm gonna get it wrong. No, the cheer levels are in shambles! Oh! It was a common hob. Never mind. Never mind. We're okay. Hang on, there we go. Uh oh. Up in broad daylight for us folks in Texas. This guy's been looking real strange all day. Could a power plant be leaking nearby or something? Looks like this guy went all radioactive, if you know what I mean. Please hold. Hey, 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 help, sir. You've got the twilight. In this part of the country, localized entirely in my Texas. Yes. That one's fucked up. Try taking my baby. Please hold. <gasps> no! No! It's an outage! No, I forgot this could happen in the game. <laughs> Shit. No. Oh, I don't know. I was gonna read my entries. No! gonna lose I did read something earlier that said to give your firstborn to it but I don't know what it was rhythmic rumbling they tried taking my baby I, I, I boarded everything up but I think I made them mad I hear something coming something Shoot. coming from the mountain listen to this Maybe it's an ogre? An ogress? I don't think it's an ogress. Here I may take the L on this one since I'm not sure what it's gonna be. Because mountain warlocks aren't- they don't hunt for people and they don't come down from their mountains. They stay up there. They just cause like earthquakes and stuff. I think it might be an ogress. I'm gonna get it wrong and be so sad. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Was I right? You can't play audio. Okay. But I was right. It don't matter. I'm a genius. Hello? There's a nudist in our neighborhood! I contacted the authorities about this pervert crisis, but they told me to call you instead. Last night, I saw my neighbor darting through the neighborhood completely in the nude. The pervert looked like he was terrified of being caught, as he's right to be. I need you to send someone over to arrest this nuisance right now. Please hold. Nudist? Yeah. There's a nudist in our neighborhood. I contacted the authorities about this, this pervert crisis. Tell me to call you instead. I think this is, um, what's the one? Hang on. The white? No, actually not. Wait, no. Whites are misshapen former humans that have been exposed to the effects of the hunt, coming in an, a variety of unfortunate bodily configurations. Whites are known for their wild and unpredictable violent behavior. The whites, uh, whites are highly contagious and will attempt to bite or harm humans. Their speed and strength can wild or wild, widely vary. I'm gonna say it's a white. What do you guys think? What do you think, chat? Yule cat? 
Feel cats often report sounds of hissing or growling or large paw prints, missing clothes or neighbors. Detail of dealing. Which one? Afraid of getting caught. So it's like a neighbor who got their clothes taken from a Yule cat? Oh. Homeowner should take quick action to leave out a variety of fabrics and keep a safe distance from their home. Wow. If you guys are wrong, I'm going to be disappointed. It was right. Nice one. I would not have gotten that, honestly. That poor neighbor is like fighting for the life and this lady's like, there's a notice outside. Ma'am, he's gonna die. Yeah, so this version tells you if you're right or wrong because your cheer level goes down. Oh no. No, it's gonna be down again. I think. Oh, oh thank God you answered. I don't know how long we have before the power goes out again. <gasps> Somebody out here. I'm at 451 Grover Lane. The storm is bad. It's really, really bad. And my mom got caught in a storm on her walk, and now she's in pain. I didn't know who Ooh. else to call. What do I do? I think it's a hunt. I think it's the hunt. Yeah, we have a outage, but I think it's the hunt. It's gotta be. The hunt's like the storm. It makes people like sick and, and stuff. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah! And gaming! How does she do it? Meow, 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 meow. Hello? Home City Hotline. We need help! I think we're caught in an avalanche! I don't know what to do! Everything is shaking! Please hold. Is it just an avalanche? I mean... <laughs> we need help! I think we're caught in an avalanche! I don't know what to do! Everything is shaking! We need help! Shh. What? It's Avalanche or it's that, uh, mountain guy again? Hang on. Yeah. Listen. There it is. Listen again. Yep. I hear chanting. It's my mountain warlocks. I don't know what to do. Everything is shaking. Nice try. I finally got my boys. I love these guys. They're really cool. I like the ones where it's like there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> like they cannot remove these guys. Hello. Hey, yeah. There's something real strange happening outside our house. The sky looks all green, and I, I have a bad feeling about it. A real bad feeling. Please yeah, man. Hold. It's called the Twilight. I don't know what to tell you, but you're kind of... Uh, we're all just kind of hoping for the best. Do you love the color of the sky? Do you? Hey, yeah, man. We are trying to work on that by keeping our cheer high. Just hope for the best and think about holiday cheer. Please. Please. Pretty please. Hello. There's someone trying to spy on my son Richie and I. Just the other night, while it was raging outside, some prankster with a death wish came to our door and just absolutely hammered on it and left before I could answer. This kid left some kind of weird looking orb on our porch, so I punted into the <gasps> trash. Probably some kind of spy camera to case the joint. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. 
Oh no. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. I think the saint came to their door and left a... Uh, they like left a present, right? But the problem is, is if you don't keep the gift overnight, the sinner comes the next day and then eats the children. So... that's unfortunate. Yeah, with some kind of weird orbs, I put it in the trash. Yeah, see, the sinner will not enter the home of those of the gift from the saint at the doorstep. As such, it's advised to not remove these gifts on the night of a snowstorm. Yeah, so... They had to bring that gift back and put it out, or else they're gonna get eaten. Hurry up, or you're gonna get... Oh, we have an ad break happening. Hello? Oh. Reindeer headpiece? Oh. Please Wait. Hold. No! Dang it. I'll wait until the ads are over so we can discuss. I think it's antler growth. For a second, I thought it was a Y thingy, but I think it is antler growth. Alright, let's see if I'm right. Let's find out. Ooh, I saved it. We're good. Knew it was right. Hello? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh. Please confirm. Over and out. It's not Please that. Hold. It's this creature. Thank you for the easy one. I've been going insane. Oh, sorry. Clicking off too fast, the game's mad at me. The farmer must skip a beat. It does kind of catch me off guard sometimes. Hello? What happened to my husband? I came home from a trip and... Oh, God! It's horrible! The police won't do anything! Please, send someone! What kind Wait, of that's sick the... person would do something like this? Wait, There's no, what do you so mean? Much blood and straw. So much oh, straw. Oh. Oh, no! Oh no, oh, I was gonna say I need more info, but I regret asking now. I know what it is at least. That sucks. Love this game? Me too! It's one of my favorites. Uh, from, I think the the OG came out last year. I've been obsessed ever since. It's so good. Okay, it was this year. It was in January. I love this game. That is so sad. There's no cure for that. He is dead. So sad. Please fix my thing. Hello? The oh the no. Lights, they're so beautiful, yet I feel so empty. So empty. Please hold. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yep. Oh, jeez. We're so active. My Greta! She's gone! The police won't do anything, please! You have to help me find Greta! Last night, someone broke into the house and took my baby! By the time I got to her, it was too late! I saw them jump out the window! I think they might have been an escaped prisoner or something! They were carrying chains! Ch chains? Please hold Chains. Oh, Ew. that's the center. Pretty easy peasy on that one. We got the Saint and Krampus this time. And Paralog next time. Yeah. Uh, nothing to do about that one. Yeah, this is the Krampus of the game. We have Santa Claus as the Saint, and then we have Krampus the Sinner. It's cool how they work together, too, with their entries. I like it. Hello. I think there's something wrong with 
our heating system? We have all the windows open right now because we're just boiling alive. I've gone to the basement to manually turn off the heater, but somehow it keeps getting turned back on and cranked up way too high. Please hold. Is it? Is it? Is it finally dwarves? I think it's finally dwarves. Yeah, uh, let's see. Dwarf infestations often report increased heat in their homes, clattering or banging sounds of fine rubble or holes in basements or cellars. She didn't mention anything about, like, holes, though. Wait, it might still be dwarves. I don't think anything else really does the, uh, the increased heat thing. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. Let's make sure. The blep? I didn't mean to. <laughs> I have my hand up to my my mouth like while I'm thinking. So it's making my blep go off. <laughs> no, I think I think it really is just uh just dwarves. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong unless Hey, I was right. Cool. We got it. Yippee. Rock and stone and snow. But how do you get rid of dwarves? I didn't even read how you get rid of them. Hello? Oh. Please hold. What do you mean, please hold? Please spread more holiday cheer, okay? Please stop being sad. It feeds off of your sadness. Stop it. <laughs> please cheer. Welcome back, Pear. I'm sorry about the thing. Uh, all right, you like plant mistletoe and rattles to make them go away. It is very local for you. Hi, Hudson. First off, you're welcome. Me and the boys had to make quite a mess to do it, but we've finally done it. Yeah, that's right. We got you, Your Majesty. The rest of them scattered to the winds as soon as we captured their not-so-mighty leader. Spread the good news around the office and maybe call the IT department, some carpenters, and a plumber as soon as you can. Pretty sure that pipe is gonna burst one way or another anyway. Uh -oh. Happy Yuletide season's greetings, Hudson out. You know what I'm wondering about the the Mouse King? Remember what happens if you like do a bad job in this game? You get turned into a mouse. I wonder if there's like a connection there or not. All the bad employees get turned to mice. Not all bad then, I guess. <laughs> ah no. Carol! Yeah. Again, Rebecca. Thanks. Thanks to you, the Lights Watch has passed over us once again. You are truly a lifesaver. What? As a friendly reminder, the office Christmas party begins on the morrow, so we had best see you there. Maybe Wait. you'll shine upon me and be ever merry, Wait. Rebecca. It skipped over the audio saying, The Light Watch passed over us with minimal casualties. Min minimal casualties. What do they mean by that? Minimal. Oh. <laughs> there we are! Aw, it's a party! Trevor Henderson mentioned. And one of them elf, maybe. We had an elf earlier. In like day two, I think. Cute. Hudson. What 
What a cute time. Oh no, Rebecca passed out. <laughs> Fun. What a good game. Well, anyway, thank you all for hanging out. I had a blast. I still am thinking about how good mouthwashing was. Again, if you missed either of these uh, games, if you missed mouthwashing or you missed uh, this game, I'm gonna work on editing these down to YouTube videos tomorrow. Shouldn't take very long since they were already like pretty straightforward. Just gonna cut out like the raids and the BRBs and stuff. So small things in the ad break.